Welcome back, people of YouTube. So it's been a hot minute since uh, I posted a video, so I guess it's time to tell you, post another one and show you, show you a new tractor we got. Yep. Give you a little update, show you what we've been doing, and I'm about to show you this big, massive tractor that we acquired. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So here it is. This is a Massey Ferguson, and well, it's a Massey Ferguson and a Minneapolis Moline. Massey Ferguson decals and grill, but Minneapolis Moline, everything else. This came up for sale, and it was one of them deals where we didn't need it, but I kind of wanted it, so... So we went and picked that up a couple weeks ago. It has the 504 cubic inch uh, diesel in it. I think they said that it's rated at, oh, 108 horsepower. So it's a big old tractor. But man, it's cool. I love this thing. Ugh. I wonder if it'll start. Surprisingly, this thing starts pretty easy. I say that and it's probably not gonna start, but. Huh, I might need to hook up the battery. One second, let me hook up the battery. All right, battery's hooked up. Don't judge me on that, but. Now, it is pretty warm today. It's like in the 50s, so it shouldn't start too hard. But I guess these tractors are pretty bad about starting in the cold, so. So, so we really don't have a, a plan for this one. We just got it because it was cool. But we are going to do some tractor pulling with it. That's the plan. But who knows? We got plenty of tractors to play with also. Here's another tractor that we got. It's a John Deere A. Um... Don't know anything about it. A uh, friend of ours had the tractor. He didn't want it anymore, so he just came and dropped it off. We're probably going to do absolutely nothing with this tractor because the cylinders were full of water and the oil pan and the transmission were full of water and the engine stuck. So we might try to get it unstuck, but I doubt it. It might just be a parts tractor. And then we come over here. To this thing the oliver so we've made some pretty good progress on it we got the turbo and all that stuff hooked up down there little turbo i need to cover that better but we've made all that progress on this tractor and we're gonna tear it apart yep that engine is not gonna do what i'm wanting to do so and really it's gonna blow up pretty easy so what we're gonna do is pull this engine out and put a 12-valve uh, Cummins in it. I know we're kind of taking some steps back on it, but we could sell this engine and make money or trade it for a 12-valve and still, you know, be, either be ahead or equal value. But if I blow this one up, then I'm out money on this engine and have to buy a new engine. So, and this one's, it's a 310 Waukesha. It's not going to make the power, and it's really under cubic inch than the other tractors it'll be pulling against. So, yeah. Sadly, that's the plan for that, but I'm trying to work out some stuff where I can find a 12-valve 
and it'll go right in there and it'll be ready hopefully and then let's go do an update on the tractors inside the barn okay so in here we are getting ready for a tractor pull in um lebanon missouri it's going to be january 5th and 6th so we had to do some stuff to the john deere a so we did uh we had to put a cover over the flywheel it's in the rules and then we went ahead and did a uh, oil change on it i made a horrible mess down there but so the a is ready to go um yeah it just had to do those two simple things it should be ready to go and then on the farm all c the reaper we had to well we didn't have to but we swapped over different tires um get you guys away from the clicking noise that's my electric fence charger but we swapped over different tires it was running we had 12 four 38s on it and we put 13, 13 936s. So our thought is the we had 13 638s on there and it powered out thinking it was too tall of a tire. So what we did, we put these 13 936s. They're the same height as a 12.4, but the same width as a 13 638. So we're going to see how they do. So I'm thinking the smaller tire will help it for, keep it from powering out, but also have the width of the bigger tire for traction. So we're going to play with that, see what happens. We had to adjust the hitch height. We got it to, it's at 18 inches, which that's for Division 2 with NATPA, you have to be at 18 inches. Division 3, you can go up to 20. So, yeah, so we're ready ready for that and yeah i think that's that's about it that's really really the update i got for you um stay tuned i will be getting a bunch of videos of the lebanon pole i'm really looking forward to it excited and stay tuned also because we have a new tractor coming in the next couple weeks I wonder if anybody could guess what it is. Um, I'm excited. I think it'll be... I've been wanting a tractor like this for a while and finally got one. So stay on the lookout for that. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to... I'll be getting some more videos out here in the next couple weeks. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and good New Year. And we're going to keep chugging along. Keep playing with these old tractors. So make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below. That'd be big. We're up, making some good progress to 1,000 followers. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. And follow me on TikTok and Facebook and Instagram. I post a lot of stuff on, on those. So alrighty, guys. We'll see you on the next one.